talk a little bit about my concepts for articulation. And uh, articulation involves the coordination of all kinds, all the different things we do to play. It involves your breathing, involves your uh, lip control, it involves uh, not moving the jaw in particular, and learning to use the tongue with D syllables. Um, often some teachers uh, ask you to do T syllables, some teachers don't use syllable at all. Um, however, I found that D syllables work quite well. We use DA for accent, DIT for staccato, and DO for legato. DA, DIT, DO. <laughs> most of the notes up through the register of the saxophone and there are extensive exercises but by using D syllables you're going up you're going up toward the roof of the mouth just as you say da do dit and then gravity helps bring that back down so you're actually going up to the tip of the reed not at the tip of the reed that I found is the most effective way and when you master that then you can actually utilize varied articulations as we do when we play jazz as well uh, as practicing very wide intervals because the idea with the saxophone as far as I'm concerned is to try and play it with a single embouchure not one for every note. In other words you don't want to change your embouchure for different uh, notes or registers. You do loosen the lip which is a muscle a little bit for the low notes. You tighten the lip a little bit for the high notes. Thus you should be able to get everything from top to bottom fairly instantaneously. And this is an exercise that I use. And so forth, and it goes on for a while. You do that for a while, you'll find that you're, you, you develop a much more comprehensive control of the mouthpiece reed combination, and thus the saxophone. Another one would be... that as a telescopic kind of an exercise that once again helps you develop all the abilities to play all the registers. Finally, one of the most important things to really practice is the staccato because staccato is uh, one of the most difficult things to sustain. Most saxophone players have not really worked at this so they don't play a great staccato unless they have and I would practice it like difficult to do a staccato on the lowest notes of the instrument, but if you form your embouchure, you maintain contact with the reed, with your lip. You don't lift away from the reed. That would be the way to do this. So I can even talk with the saxophone in a position to play, such as this. So I can be talking to you, and I can play the note instantly. Otherwise, I would have to play catch up, put the lip on the reed, form the position on the mouthpiece, in other words, it's not ready, fire, aim, it's ready, aim, fire. An attack is really preparation and release, so one must be prepared. Prepare the positioning on the mouthpiece, the optimal positioning, and the lip position so that you can just bring the air up to the reed and then just release the tongue like that. Then you can get your notes out.